On June 25, 2024, a momentous event unfolded as a capsule gently parachuted down onto the vast grasslands of Inner Mongolia. The world watched in anticipation as the Chang'e 6 return capsule touched down, marking the end of a journey that had captured imaginations across the globe. Inside this capsule were the first-ever samples collected from the mysterious far side of the moon, a region that, until now, had remained out of reach for all of humanity's previous missions. The Chang'e 6 mission was not just a technical feat for China, it was a bold leap forward for all of humanity, pushing the boundaries of what we thought possible in space exploration. For decades, our understanding of the moon was shaped by samples brought back from its near side, thanks to the pioneering Apollo and Luna missions. These missions gave us our first real glimpse into lunar history, but they only told half the story. Chang'e 6 changed everything. By venturing into uncharted territory on the moon's far side, the mission returned nearly two kilograms of ancient lunar material, samples that could hold the keys to understanding the moon's deepest mysteries. The far side, forever hidden from Earth's view, has long been a source of speculation and scientific curiosity. Its rugged terrain and unique geology set it apart from the familiar near side. Now, for the first time, scientists could hold its secrets in their hands, ready to unlock new chapters in the story of our solar system. The mission's journey was a marvel of modern engineering. Chang'e 6 performed an autonomous landing on the far side, collected precious samples, and then executed a daring ascent, all without direct communication with Earth, relying on relay satellites to guide its every move. As the samples arrived in Earth's laboratories, a wave of excitement swept through the global scientific community. Researchers from around the world eagerly awaited their chance to study this unprecedented material. Early analyses, published in leading scientific journals, revealed surprising data, challenging long-held beliefs about the moon's formation, composition, and evolution. The rocks and dust from the far side promised to rewrite textbooks and reshape our understanding of how the moon, and perhaps even the Earth, came to be. This was more than a technical achievement. It was the dawn of a new era in space science, one that would inspire future generations to reach even further. The era of far-side lunar exploration had truly begun, opening doors to discoveries we can only begin to imagine. For the first time, humanity was seeing the moon in its entirety, both its familiar face and its hidden, enigmatic far-side. The Chang'e 6 mission had not only opened a new frontier, it had forever changed our relationship with the moon and with the universe beyond. Chang'e 6 touched down in a place unlike any other, the vast South Pole Aitken Basin, a region shrouded in mystery and scientific intrigue. This immense depression is not only one of the largest and oldest impact craters in the solar system, but also one of its most scientifically valuable. Spanning over 2,500 kilometers, this ancient scar was carved out by a colossal impact billions of years ago, exposing rocks from deep within the moon's crust, and perhaps even its mantle, offering a rare window into the moon's hidden interior. The basin acts as a geological time capsule, preserving evidence from the moon's violent early history, when the solar system was a chaotic and dangerous place. By collecting samples here, scientists hope to unlock secrets about how planets form and to better understand the tumultuous era known as the Late Heavy Bombardment, when asteroids and comets relentlessly pounded the young moon and Earth. The far side of the moon is especially intriguing. Its crust is thicker, and its composition is distinct from the near side, raising questions about why the two hemispheres are so different. This makes the South Pole Aitken Basin the perfect natural laboratory for testing theories about the moon's mysterious evolution. Landing in this rugged, cratered landscape was a technical triumph for the Chang. Six mission, demonstrating that humanity can reach and explore even the most challenging and remote lunar environments. The precious samples collected from the South Pole Aitken Basin are more than just rocks. They are time travelers, carrying information from the moon's primordial past and the earliest days of our solar system. These materials offer scientists a rare glimpse into the building blocks that shaped not only the moon, but also the Earth and other rocky worlds nearby. Now, with the far side scientific treasure trove finally open for study, researchers are poised to unravel some of the greatest mysteries of our cosmic neighborhood, one moon rock at a time. The Chang'e 6 samples revealed a stunning secret volcanic activity on the far side persisted until about 2.8 billion years ago. This was hundreds of millions of years later than scientists expected. 
Previously, the far side was thought to have cooled quickly, with little volcanic activity after 3 billion years ago. The new data shattered that assumption, showing the far side was geologically active far longer than believed. This discovery extends the timeline of lunar volcanism and suggests the moon's internal heat lasted much longer than models predicted. The far side was not a dormant relic. It was dynamic, reshaping our understanding of lunar history. The implications reach beyond the moon, forcing scientists to rethink how small rocky worlds cool and evolve. The moon's quiet hemisphere had a fiery, unexpected past. The discovery of recent volcanism on the far side raised a new mystery. What was the heat source? On the near side, volcanic activity is linked to creep, radioactive elements that act as a natural furnace. But initial analysis of the Chang'e, six samples found little to no creep in the far side basalts. How did the far side stay hot enough for volcanism without this fuel? Conflicting studies even suggested traces of creep might be present, deepening the puzzle. Resolving this contradiction is now a top priority for lunar scientists. The answer could rewrite our understanding of the moon's internal engine. Amid the mysteries, Chang'e 6 provided powerful evidence for the magma ocean hypothesis, the idea that the moon began as a global sea of molten rock. The far side samples matched the near sides in key ways, confirming both hemispheres share a common origin. Despite their differences today, the moon's two faces were forged from the same fiery beginning. This finding anchors our theories of lunar evolution and explains why both sides started as one. The dramatic divergence came later, shaped by processes still under investigation. The moon's birth was a unified, violent event, one that echoes across the solar system. Chang'e 6 has helped solve one of the moon's oldest mysteries. Chang'e 6 has forced a rewrite of the moon's biography. For decades, the near side was seen as active and complex, the far side as quiet and ancient. The new samples prove the far side was also volcanically active, blurring the line between the two hemispheres. Both sides share a common origin in a global magma ocean, but diverged dramatically over time. Now scientists can focus on what drove this split, Earth's gravity, heat distribution, or something else. The moon is no longer a simple two-faced world, but a complex, interconnected planetary body. Chang'e, six acts as a Rosetta Stone, translating the moon's hidden history. The story is richer and more fascinating than ever imagined. Chang'e, six's discoveries build on decades of lunar exploration, each mission adding new layers to our understanding of the moon's history and evolution. The Apollo and Luna missions, beginning in the 1960s and 70s, brought back hundreds of kilograms of samples from the moon's near side. These rocks revealed a dynamic volcanic past, the presence of creep, an unusual mix of elements, and evidence that the moon was once geologically active. Yet, despite these achievements, the far side of the moon remained a mystery, untouched and unexplored, its secrets locked away for decades. In 2020, China's Chang'e, Five mission returned with surprisingly young rocks from the near side, just two billion years old, suggesting that volcanic activity on the moon lasted much longer than previously believed. Chang'e, six took the next bold step, landing on the moon's far side and collecting samples never before studied. These rocks, even younger than those from Chang'e, five, are rewriting what we know about lunar volcanism. Together, these missions reveal that the moon's volcanic life was not only longer, but also more widespread and complex than anyone had imagined. By comparing samples from Apollo, Luna, Chang'e, 5, and Chang'e, 6, scientists are piecing together a much fuller, more nuanced picture of lunar history, one that spans billions of years and both sides of the moon. Each mission adds a crucial piece to the puzzle, helping us understand not just the moon, but the early history of our solar system. The moon is no longer just a distant light in our night sky. It's a complex, evolving world with a rich story that we're only beginning to unravel. With Chang, 6, the narrative has become truly global, as scientists from around the world collaborate to interpret these new findings and open a new chapter in lunar science. The journey of discovery continues, as each mission brings us closer to understanding the moon's secrets and our own place in the universe. Chang'e 6 is just the beginning of a new golden age of lunar exploration. The mysteries it uncovered, especially the far side's heat source, 
Demand follow-up missions. China is already planning Chang'e 7 and Chang'e 8, aiming to explore the lunar south pole and test new technologies. The ultimate goal, a permanent human presence on the moon, with international partners. The far side, once out of reach, is now a prime target for future robotic and human explorers. Studying its unique geology will help us understand not just the moon, but all rocky planets. The skills and knowledge gained here will prepare us for journeys to Mars and beyond. The future of lunar science is bright, and it starts now. Chang'e 6 was a triumph for China, but its impact is global. The far side samples are a treasure for all humanity, revealing universal truths about our solar system. China has opened access to these samples for international scientists, accelerating discovery worldwide. Collaboration is essential, no nation can explore the cosmos alone. Projects like the International Lunar Research Station and NASA's Artemis program point to a future of shared exploration. Political barriers remain, but the universal language of science often transcends them. The excitement around Changi 6 is driving creative new partnerships. As we push deeper into space, international cooperation will be key to success. The moon's far side reminds us we all share one sky and a common cosmic destiny. The next chapter of exploration belongs to all of us.